Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year. A full case of Contenders football coming at you. This is Pick Your Team number five from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So big thanks to... Let's get my paperwork here. Big thanks to these people right here. Happy New Year, these people. So on the second or first day back this year. And it's been a good day. Everyone's filling up breaks. I appreciate it. TJ with that last spot mojo star next to his name. There's everyone else. Thanks very much, everybody. Hopefully everyone had a happy and safe new year. All right, and here is the case of contenders. There's four stacks of three. That's 12 boxes right there. All right, settle in, folks. It's going to be a long break, but a fun break. Five autographs per box on average. We've seen some above average boxes as well. Veteran base cards do not ship, so keep that in mind, but everything else does. Good luck, everybody. Let's pop all these open first. We talked playoff matchup matchups in the uh, previous break, in our previous optic break. I think the general consensus had seemed to be... Um, well, there wasn't really too many general consensuses, but I think people were split on Tennessee and Kansas City. I think most people leaning towards Kansas City. I think um, people were split on Falcons at Rams. They were a little split there. I think most people seem to be with Jacksonville in that Buffalo going to going to Jacksonville game. And people seemed a little split on uh, Carolina and New Orleans. So a lot of fun playoff matchups coming up. We'll... We'll discuss more of those games in depth, whether during the break or during a football break or in between breaks throughout the week. And then we'll get some final picks going on, say, Friday. Just before the, uh, before the weekend games. Um, taking a look at some of the final scores in the last week of the season. If you're betting against the spread, if you're into that kind of thing, I know some of us are. Week 17, terrible, terrible week to, to put any action on any of the games because you never know what's going to happen or what everyone's motivation level is. Uh, the Redskins, not a good season for the Redskins. They finished 7-9 and nine with a loss to the Giants. They lost uh, to the Giants. Giants winning 18-10. So question marks for... The Redskins, what are they doing? Is, where's Kirk Cousins going to go? Where's Eli Manning going to go? Was the Giants' poor season just a product of McAdoo and some injuries? So a lot to learn, a lot to figure out. Here's our first autograph, the rookie ticket auto. Corey Clement for the Eagles. That'll be for Chris Huey. Nice. I like the design this year of Contenders, by the way. It's a... A cleaner design. So these are just quads that'll go to the same team, obviously. So inserts like this will ship, but vet, like vet base like that, will not ship. Any cards that have the RC in the corner, those will ship. Obviously, inserts like this will ship. This Delaney Walker playoff ticket will ship. Two twenty-two out of two forty-nine for Eric and his Titans. Corbin wondering if the Jags will make the Super Bowl. And there are a couple people who thought the Jags could go pretty deep. This R. Joshua Dobbs on card auto will ship, rookie ticket auto. Nick T saying the Jags will not make the Super Bowl. 
Steelers. Jackie Rudko with that. Nick T saying, Nick T saying, Bortles will Bortles at some uh, at some inopportune time. That's what some other people are saying too. There, uh, I think there are rookie variation autographs which are which go this way. They go horizontal, but I don't. I haven't noticed any variations this year. In terms of, uh, like, I think previous years there was either a helmet or just the logo. We're gonna we're gonna randomize these left and right unless they are serial numbered specifically. So keep that in mind. Any guesses on this redemption right here? This will obviously ship. Out of 199, Christian McCaffrey, we'll see him in the playoffs and playoff action. Playoffs? It'll be cool to see these rookies in action. That's going to help any of your cards. If you have any of those uh, rookies in the playoffs, might help the value. There's this hooker right here, Malik Hooker, rookie ticket autograph for the Colts. Michael D with the Colts. We've got Jordan Willis for the Bengals. Rookie ticket autograph. Darren McKenzie, D-Mac with the Bengals. All right, so Michael House guessing uh, TJ Watt. Ben and TJ guessing Deshaun Kaiser. Rock Steele guessing McCaffrey Redemption. Ryan is saying, got to be a Wayne Gallman. It's, no, it's rookie ticket autograph David and Yoku for TJ and the Browns. Last spot mojo strikes. There you go, TJ. Rob Castillo saying a little bit earlier, too, he's thinking that the Jaguars will be the one of the last four teams in the in the playoffs. They'll get to the AFC Championship. All right, next box. The Patriots, speaking of the AFC, Patriots destroying the uh, the Jets 26 to 6. I think the, the Jets have been doing pretty well against the spread all season, but I guess they just were looking ahead to their vacations a little bit. But I think the Jets have had a pretty decent season. 5-11? and 11? I don't think a lot of people expected the Jets to win five games this year. And they actually might, may have a winning record against the spread as well. Patriots finishing 13-3. and three. They're looking strong, as they normally seem to do. The uh, Vikings finishing 13 and three with a 23-10 victory over the Bears. Bears finishing five and 11. Bears looking, I guess, decent with Mitch Trubisky at times. Maybe another preseason under Mitch Trubisky's belt. It could be interesting to see next year. Lions finishing nine and seven on the season with a 35-11 victory over the Packers. Packers. Uh, that Aaron Rodgers. That, that I mean, that injury kind of. De definitely derailed their season. They finished seven and nine, but they're—I don't think they're that far away, you know, from a from a playoff spot. So I mean, they finished seven and nine. It's not bad with like Brett Hundley for half the season, basically. So think of it this way: Packers find themselves with a very nice uh, a draft pick that they normally wouldn't get, right? A higher than usual draft pick, and they've got a. Uh, They've got a, a healthy Aaron Rodgers coming back. So. All right, next box. We got Tyreek Hill, playoff ticket insert. 139 out of 1, 249 that is, 139 out of 249. Chiefs, that goes to Greg, Greg D. We'll 
We'll see how the Chiefs do in the playoffs. Playoffs? Let's see what... Sometimes I go through those round numbers. I want to make sure these aren't serial numbered because those are, those are separate randomizers. All right, for the Texans, on-card auto, Deonta Foreman. Jameson Long with the Texans. Jamal Adams is your next autograph. Rookie ticket auto for the Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll go to Joe Cavanaugh. Points. We'll collect any points, and uh, it's winner take all, as we've been doing for a little while now. Winner take all on the points. And there's Chad Kelly, rookie ticket autograph, opposite Joe Mojo, going to Dubberly and the Broncos. There you go. Disappointing season for the Broncos and my Raiders. There we go. 26 out of 99 round numbers, first rounders, Corey Davis and Mike Williams. So that'll be a randomizer between the Titans and the Chargers. This would be a different randomizer from the standard left-right randomizers over here. And we've got Stacy Coley for the Vikings. Rookie ticket autograph for Greg. All right, another box in the books. Next one. Good luck. Speaking of the Deonta Foreman autograph that we just pulled, Texans falling to the Colts, 22 to 13. Colts looking completely lost without Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck rumored to come back all season, but never did. And now people are thinking, now he did that press conference, which was a little weird. And, and he's saying, well, it's weird because he wasn't 100% sure if he'd come back in 2018, at the start of 2018. So what's going on there? Do the Colts get a, a healthy Andrew Luck back? Do they start looking ahead past Andrew Luck? Colts finishing 4-12. and 12. And feel bad for the Texans. They finished 4-12, and 12 and pretty much, pretty much uh, you can just see the importance of Deshaun Watson on that team. And the fact that they just don't have a competent backup quarterback. Once Deshaun Watson went down, that's it. Their season, I mean, they were a completely different team. But if he comes back healthy next season, which I am assuming he will, and I think that'll be not only good for the team, good for the hobby as well, uh, I think Deshaun Watson should be fine. They might not want him to run around as much, but I'm sure that uh, that he has the, the the arm strength, the pocket presence. I guess I think the ability to do that. A lot of en enough weapons. Their defense needs to get back on track. But they'll also benefit from a nice higher round draft pick too. Steelers narrowly avoiding uh, giving the Browns their first win, too. 28-24 over the Browns. Browns covering. <laughs> the Browns end up 0-16. It's hard to finish 0-16, ladies and gentlemen. Very hard to finish 0-16. Almost as hard as, as it is to finish 16-0. 0-16 and 
I'll take guesses on redemptions. Bragging rights, of course. Is it the Wayne Gallman this time for that redemption? We have an Andrew. There we go. We were just talking about him. 75 out of 99. Championship ticket insert. Andrew Luck, Michael D. with the Colts. I've uh, got a couple Kareem Hunt guesses. Royal for Speed saying, there's my Wayne Gallman. He does have a good Wayne Gallman PC being built up from this contender set. Kaiser or Gallman is another guess. And we've got championship ticket autograph, 13 out of 49, D'Angelo Henderson. Broncos auto going to Dubberly. We've got a Cowboys autograph coming up. Nice. Playoff. Playoff ticket autograph. 88 out of 99. I'm talking about playoffs? That goes to James S. and the Cowboys. He was very excited about that monster Ezekiel Elliott hit that he got last week, last year. SNR, hello. Happy New Year to you too. Nick T saying, hey, Gallman in every case you've seen, so that's a solid guess. Rookie ticket autograph, Eddie Jackson. Eddie Jackson for the Bears, Joseph Johns with the Bears. But Ryan actually changing his guess. He's like, you know what? I'm going Jamal Williams. That's a good pick, too, actually. We've seen a lot of Jamal Williams redemptions. There's Kareem Hunt. Speaking of Kareem Hunt, rookie of the year contender, definitely. That's out of 25. That'll go to, who has the Chiefs in this one? Greg D with the Chiefs. Razul Douglas, rookie ticket autograph for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Chris Huey. What do I do with the NFL shop coupons? I give it to you. There you go. SNR, use that code at checkout and get 18% off. Boom. That's just for him, though. Nobody else. This one's for you too, SNR. This is for you, only for you. No one else look. Use that code. Get 18% off at NFL shop. All right, the redemption is, oh, Kareem Hunt. Death Stalker, Manny Garner, guessing the Kareem Hunt. They nailed it. Rookie Cracked Ice. Ticket variation, RPS. Cracked Ice. Kareem Hunt. Sweet Kareems are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Greg Dunaway with the Chiefs. Nice. There you go. Out of 25. Deserving of one of these. There you go. Deserves one of that. That's a nice hit. All right. Another box. Good luck. Yeah, not, not quite the Big Hit Express, but uh, but it's a bigger hit, so we have, we have that to get to, to give a little celebration to hits like that. The Cracked Ice, always a, always a great hit from year to year.
Oh, this was an exciting game. Who watched the Cowboys Eagles game? <laughs> Who watched that one? Oh, wow. What a. I did not. I'm glad I didn't. Cowboys 6, Eagles 0. Cowboys scoring 6 points in the fourth quarter. Eagles 0. Cowboys finishing the season 9 and 7. Um, yeah, what an offensive shootout, right? Real barn burner. Um, yeah, Andy's like, couldn't, was working, couldn't catch it. Um, yeah, 6 nothing. Cowboys, disappoint, disappointing season like my Raiders, especially considering a lot of people towards the end of last season, after the Super Bowl, were thinking, you know what, we could see a little Cowboys Raiders in the Super Bowl next season, both teams just derailed. Did not happen. Um, the Eagles finished the season 13-3. and three. Impressive season for the Eagles, but minus Carson Wentz, there's a lot of concerns going into the playoff. Now, they got a bye week to kind of figure things out, but Nick Foles, you know, I mean, I don't know how much of the game he actually played. Maybe he didn't play a lot of the game. Let me look at the stats really quick. I guess he didn't play any of the game, so maybe that, that does it. No, he, he threw about 11 passes, but he went 4 for 11 with an interception. That's not a ringing endorsement for the playoffs. He's healthy, though, I guess. That's a good thing. TJ St. Foles will lead them along just fine. What does everyone think? All right. I don't know. I think there's a little concern, though. Just a, little, a wee bit of concern. Rookie ticket. For the Carolina Panthers, Curtis Samuels. That'll go to the Panthers. That's for Cruz. He struggled a little bit with the Raiders, too, and the Raiders' defense likes to give up points and yards. There's some mild concern amongst Eagles fans. Another Panther for Cruz. This time it's Brad Kaya. There is... Um, for the Saints, that is. I almost said Packers. Taysom Hill. Call him a toy. Nope, that's Packers again. Damn it. Saints, Stephen Cook, there you go. Dietrich Wise Jr., Cracked Ice autograph, 16 out of 25. It's defensive end for the Patriots, that'll go to uh, Josh M., Josh with the Patriots this time, in this one. There's A.J. Green, 32 out of 99. Double his jersey number. No, his jersey number is 18. Never mind. Bengals, D-Mac. That was, that was a reach. Darren McKenzie with the Bengals in this one. There is wide receiver Carlos Henderson, draft class autograph, numbered 11 out of 199. Doubly with the Broncos, Oppo Joe Mojo. Uh, SNR asking if I'm happy with uh, Gruden signing. Yes. Well, it's not official yet, but yes, <laughs> I am. If, if the uh, Raiders are going to go through trouble of hiring another head coach, it better be of someone Gruden's caliber. DeMonte Kazee for the Dirty Birds Bulldog fan with the Falcons. But yeah, I mean... You know, if you want to make a change, if you don't think De uh, Del Rio's the guy, 
and you think Gruden is the guy, then you, yeah, you make the change. But if Gruden wasn't available, I think I think Jack Del Rio definitely deserved, you know, a couple more seasons. I think this season was a little bit of a wash. Defensive coordinator fired in the middle of the season, not good. Offensive coordinator, not good. You know, so there was a lot of problems. And I guess as as we get closer to the end of the season, looks like there's some uh, some stories kind of leaking out of the Raiders saying that maybe Del Rio has possibly lost the locker room in a certain sense, or I don't know. Guys taking themselves out of the game. Michael Crabtree just kind of saying, hey, I'm just not going to play anymore last game. So a little, little motivation and effort issues there that I didn't like. Um, I mean, maybe that's a Del Rio issue. Maybe not. I don't know. But if they were going to make a change, I would have said, listen, I don't make a change in Jack Del Rio just to just to make a change and try like a, a random hotshot coordinator or something like that. You know, don't take that risk. It's always not going to work out. Um, always not going to work out like uh, like Sean McVay. So you can get your you can get a Dennis Allen too, like the Raiders did a few years back. But if you're going to make a change, it's got to be with uh, maybe a coach with a little more experience under his belt. John Gruden definitely has that experience under his belt. But that was kind of a long time ago. I don't know what everyone thinks about this. Feel free to cite your opinion in the chat. But is is Gruden still sharp enough? You know what I mean? Or did he get too too soft and comfortable in the broadcast booth? Has he done enough with broadcasting to 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 be able to still be a good uh, personnel and X's and O kind of guy after being out of the NFL for so long? I don't know. How much control does John Gruden get? We've seen John Gruden with a lot of team control in Tampa Bay. And that not work out very well towards the end of his coaching career, you know. And it, and we we see that in the modern NFL, it's hard to to wear a lot of hats. So I don't know what he demands in that sort of sense. But we'll see when when all that's official. I think it's it's great though. Nostalgia wise, it's great for me as a Raiders fan. And I think even tactically, I hope it all works out. Victor Bolden Jr. Again, like I said, if there's if you're gonna fire Jack Del Rio, you may as well try to go and get a guy like John Gruden. Looks like they are so. Another randomizer between the Chiefs and the Texans. Round numbers. SNR thinks he still has the fire. Alan Hearns, 91 out of 99 for the Jaguars. Championship ticket. Insert. For the Jags, that goes to EA Sports. Dude saying, I don't know, but after seeing the West and the Chiefs looking good for the next couple of years. And then New England, Pittsburgh, Seattle, all on the road. How they have to play there? Yeah. Scheduling might be a little difficult. And this looks nice. For the Titans, nice Corey Davis. On-card autograph, Corey Davis. For the Tennessee Titans, EA Sports, it's in the game. How much of Corey Davis are we going to see in the playoffs? Is he healthy? Is he ready to go? Playoff ticket autograph, Josh Woodrum, 28 out of 99 for the Purple Birds. Joe Howard with the Ravens. We want tacos. Taco Charlton for James and the Cowboys. And 
we've got rookie ticket autograph, the Duke, Duke Riley for Will on the Falcons. And that's that next box coming up. All right. Um, let's see. Let's look at, look at some other games here. Niners looking good. 34 to 13 over the Rams, who rested a ton of people. But. Rams still looking, or uh, Niners still looking good. Jimmy Garoppolo really changing their team around. It looks like the team, with the success they had with Jimmy Garoppolo, I mean, you could argue that they're a lot closer than people originally thought. I mean, they're, they're still, they still have work to do, you know, but it's going to take a, it might not be as long as maybe their front office and their management envision. So Jimmy Garoppolo definitely changing things. Let's hope they, uh, can they keep him? Isn't he supposed to be a free agent after this season or something like that? 34 13. Uh, Niners ending the season 6 and 10. Rams ending the season, turning a big time turnaround. 11 and 5 for the Rams. They're looking fantastic going into the playoffs. Uh, Raiders ending 6 and 10. Not a good season for my Raiders. Definitely maybe, maybe Derek Carr injury, coaching issues. Uh, Amari Cooper not starting off on the right foot or the right hands, you know. So I don't know if they quite used Marshawn Lynch the the right way maybe in the beginning of the season, which they kind of started figuring out later in the season. So, um, and I think the uh, and not quite finishing off games in like the fourth quarter. So sometimes not doing that. Defense was a big issue. They got rid of their defensive coordinator. A lot of issues for the Raiders going into the off season. Uh, maybe some of those issues will be addressed with if John Gruden ends up being the Raiders head coach, which definitely seems like it is. But I think with a few additions here and there, I, don't, I think the Raiders aren't as far away as it seems either. I chalk this up just to a bad season. Um, Chiefs 27-24 over the Broncos. Broncos also a weird season. 5-11. and 11. Definitely need a quarterback for that situation there. Chiefs who had a weird middle portion of the season are, are finishing the season strong. They finished 10-6. Jaguars only managing 10 points against the Titans. Titans 9-7. and seven. The Jaguars 10-6. and six. Great turnaround for the Jaguars. Everything seemed to click for the Jaguars. Yeah, we did see that Carson Palmer retired. End of an era. And Brian's asking, are we going to watch the college football championship game? No, we don't like sports here. Of course I am. It'll probably be when is it a what day what day of the week is it? Well, it'll, we might be on air while we watch that. Rookie ticket autograph Chris Wormley with the Ravens. That'll go to Joe. More round numbers 124 out of 199. A little bit higher number than the other one that we pulled. It'll be a separate randomizer. Oh, it's on a Monday? Well, then I will be watching it somewhere. <laughs> but not with you guys. I'll be off on, on Mondays. We broadcast Tuesday through... Sa How is this turned around? Tuesday through Saturday. 3 o'clock Pacific to 11 o'clock Eastern. On this channel, whatever wherever you're watching it, whether it's on YouTube or Breakers on TV, John U. Smith for EA and the Titans. I do know it's Alabama versus Georgia, Brian. Thank you. I don't watch that much college sports, but I, but I, I do pay attention towards the end of the season. Any guesses on this redemption? Have not seen Jamal Williams yet. How have not seen? Uh, Wayne Gallman yet. The most shocking coaching firing for me. I don't know who got who got fired. I would, might actually be uh, 
There's Jason Witten, 35. It might actually be Jack Del Rio. Mostly because I'm I'm shocked that uh, that John Gruden can be lured away from the uh, from the broadcasting booth. I think that's the most that's one of the most surprising things. So I, I guess it would be for my raid. Everyone else is sort of you know act, it's kind of to be expected, right? Might be more shocking that Marvin Lewis got a, got an extension <laughs> as opposed to some of the people that got fired. Uh, there's Rookie of the Year contenders, Carlos Henderson, 90 out of 199, Oppo Joe Mojo for Dubberly. Brian actually guessing D.D. Westbrook. Everyone else thinking it's got to be the Gallman, of course. TJ hoping for Deshaun Kaiser. That's a rookie ticket auto. Jacob Hollister. Josh M with that. Not to be confused with Jacob Abercrombie and Fitch. Different guy. Different guy. All right. Let's see what we got here. Get out of here, kid reporter. It's, wow. Veteran ticket autograph. This is unexpected. Veteran ticket autograph. That's Drew Brees for the Saints. Stephen Cook with the Saints. Wow. That's nice. That's not, not too shabby at all. There is like a there usually is like a veteran autograph one one or two veteran autographs per case. That's pretty strong. Nice. Uh, Arthur was uh, Arthur Peru. Most people know him here. He's a longtime regular with us. He was guessing the Saints go all the way, all the way in the playoffs with the Super Bowl be possible. They've got a strong team. I'm not sure, Michael Goodman. Uh, you should check a uh, place like eBay. Sold auctions on eBay. You might be able to see similar autos being sold from that year. That'll give you a general idea, unless someone else knows in the chat. Now, it's a very nice veteran auto in there. Brian saying, I he, Brian says Saints Patriots Super Bowl. SNR saying that the Vikings are going to win the Super Bowl. Vikings, if they if they're in the uh, man, if can you imagine if they uh, if they're in the Super Bowl? I mean. Home field advantage. I think that would be the first time, right? Ever? First time ever? Michael says a rematch of last year. Speaking of the Saints, Buccaneers beating the Saints 31-24. Was there anything on the line in that? Oh, maybe the Saints had had uh, the NFC South, winning the NFC South, kind of, as I guess, on the line. Um, Bills beating the Dolphins 22-16. The Bills winning and then needing a little help, and then they got into the playoffs. Good for the Bills. They haven't been in the playoffs for ages. Cardinals beating the Seahawks 26-24. I didn't think the Seahawks were going to lose that game. I thought the Seahawks were going to really, really take that game. But it did not happen. Falcons winning 22-10 uh, over the Panthers. Panthers not doing it. And last but not least, the Bengals 31-27 over the Ravens. 
11 out of 49, TJ Watt, thus pretty much ending the Ravens' season. Um, TJ Watt, 11 out of 49. Think our one per case TJ Watt that goes to the Steelers. That'll be for Jackie Rudko. Got Derek Rivers, rookie ticket autograph for the Patriots. That'll be for Josh M. Akello Witherspoon for the Niners. Rookie ticket autograph. James S. Have not seen our Matt Breida yet. Leonard Fournette, Rookie of the Year contender. That's true. You can see that out of 199. Jaguars insert going to EA Sports. It's in the game. Carlos Henderson. Another Carlos Henderson autograph. Rookie ticket auto for the Broncos. Chris Duberly. More points. That's winner take all on the points. And there's Kyle Slaughter. Would be better if he was like a slot receiver or something like that, but quarterback. That goes to the Vikings. That goes to Greg D. Playoff ticket, Amari Cooper, shockingly with a football in his hands. Not dropped, in his hands, caught. Playoff ticket, going to the Raiders, Karen Steele. There you go. All right, good luck, everybody. Next box, we've got five boxes to go. We're just a little over halfway there. TJ's still looking for some more browns. We've got another case of this up on jazbeeshobbyland.com if you want to check that out. We have about another... Oh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so left in this break. I do see a lot of orders coming in. I don't know what they are for. But we'll go through all the orders after this break, obviously. And this, we'll see what else we can do. JaspiesHobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. TJ looking for more Browns and Nick T. Looking for man, a charger set or two? Perhaps. There's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 autos left. So, hopefully... Everyone still has some good odds. Brian, uh, or I'm sorry, Tyler asking, uh, what's next? Immaculate Foot? Probably. Did that sell out? If it sold out, I know that was the closest to filling before this break was sold out. So my, I would imagine that would be the it's, that would be the next one to go. And after that, I'm not sure what else we'll do after that.
Ryan asking, what if the Browns get Quan Barkley in the draft this year? Then that's who they get this year. <laughs> Is Absolute Basketball moving, TJ? TJ saying Absolute Basketball might be on the move. And Immaculate is full. Okay. Is this, where, is this where the Gallman is? The Wayne Gallman? Or the Jamal Williams? Haven't seen him yet. Feel free to guess on that redemption. There's Kendall Beckwith. Rookie ticket autograph for the Buccaneers and for Michael F. Brian guessing uh, Dee Dee Westbrook. TJ wants that Deshaun. Is he, a, is he a redemption, TJ? TJ wanting that Deshaun Kaiser. There is rookie ticket autograph Marquez White. That goes to the Cowboys. That'll be for James. Yeah, I think the Browns have a lot of picks, right? They have two of the top five picks. This is a nice one right here. Draft class autograph, 141 out of 199. Josh Reynolds for the Rams. Derek Slavic with the Rams. Brian, you already, you already guessed D.D. Westbrook. You can't just throw names out there. Playoff ticket, Travis Kelsey. 192 out of 249. Playoff ticket, Travis Kelsey. No, oh, he's like, no idea. I was just following the room earlier. I have no idea either. Joe Williams. 95 out of 99. Playoff ticket on card auto. That's a niner for James. Tyler's Tyler going big. He's saying that the redemption is TB12. If there was a Drew Brees and a Tom Brady autograph, I don't even know if Tom Brady's in this set, actually. But if he is, this would make for a pretty incredible case. Doug Flutie, says Andy. Marlon Mack, Rookie of the Year contender insert out of 99. That'll be for Michael D. and the Colts. Shaquille Griffin, Rookie Ticket Autograph for the Seahawks. That'll be for Cruz. And the redemption is, boom, rookie ticket RPS Wayne Gallman for Royal for Speed. Ryan has been waiting for this one all weekend. He wants to add to his Wayne Gallman PC. There you go, Ryan. Congrats. It's exactly what he wanted. The next redemption has to be a Jamal Williams at this point. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Almost there, we're getting there.
looking at the NFL.com coaching tracker. So, yeah. Alonzo Highsmith to be hired by the Browns. VP of Football Ops. Bears put in an interview request for Chiefs offensive coordinator Matt Nagy. And that's for, and he's got two more, or another interview request from Indianapolis as well. Mike Garofalo reporting that Giants will kick off their head coaching interview process tomorrow. Steve Spagnuolo is first up. He's also reporting that uh, New York Football Giants have requested an interview with Vikings OC Pat Shermer. Pat Shermer also going to be meeting with the Lions, Cardinals, and Bears. Josh McDaniels is looking for head coaching interviews as well. His first one will be with the Colts. Apparently he's the most coveted candidate in this cycle. So maybe second time's the charm. Second time around for Josh McDaniels will be the charm. I think it actually might be. All right. Ehwan Price. For the Rams, that goes to Derek. Royal for speed saying, man, he's a Chiefs guy. These teams stopped even taking our offensive coordinators. We've got playoff ticket Alshon Jeffrey for the Fly Eagles Fly. Goes to Chris Huey. Ah, there's the other redemption. Any guesses? Is it finally the Jamal Williams? Who else could it be? Get bragging rights. Go for it. We already got the Wayne Gallman. Unless, unless there's another one. Keep adding to Ryan's Wayne Gallman PC. Uh, Mike Evans MVP contenders. 187 out of 199. Michael F. with the Buccaneers. We've got uh, a playoff ticket auto of Ryan Ramzig, 13 out of 99 for the Saints. Stephen Cook with the Saints. Uh, EA guessing a TJ Watt. Tan Man wants a Dolphin. There is a nice Trent Taylor. 24 out of 25 championship ticket autograph for the Niners. James S. with the Niners. Trent Taylor could be an interesting, uh, interesting character, interesting receiver for Garoppolo next year. 13 out of 199 team quads for the Jaguars. This is all Jags going to EA. I, have we pulled a Leonard Fournette autograph out of here? I don't, I don't remember one. Final answer, Brian? Brian's thinking D.D. Westbrook. We have seen some D.D. Westbrook redemptions. Could be it. There's Chris Wormley for Joe and the Purple Birds. And Nick T. also going D.D. Westbrook with this one. Right. It's going to be. Ah, we forgot about this guy. James Connor, rookie ticket variation RPS. James Connor for the Steelers, Rudco with that one. Three boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. 
Sure is, Greg. Pick your team number five is what's going on right now. Pick your team six, everyone will notice, is already in the store, jazpiecehobbyland.com. So if you want to pick your teams there, you're like, Joe, I missed out on pick your team five. Where's pick your team six? Already in the store, jazpiecehobbyland.com. Check it out. And if you're watching this replay a number of days later and you don't see pick your team six there, I'm sure you'll see some sort of pick your team there. If you don't see it, we're probably sold out. Uh, I think we all know our fired coaches by now, right? John Fox, done. I guess I guess that makes sense. Jim Caldwell, done in Detroit. John Fox, done in Chicago. Chuck Pagano, done in Indianapolis. Ben McAdoo, that was uh, that was going to be obvious, done. And Jack Del Rio, which is a little surprising, done. Um, was there? Chiefs or Vikings? Anybody remember if there are any Chiefs or Vikings for Greg Dunway? Oh, right. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, Cracked Ice Redemption for Greg. And I think there was like a Stacey Coley autograph for the Vikings. But yeah, I think there was actually. I don't know where it is. It was a while ago. I don't know, I'll, I'll do a recap. You'll see it. It's cool. No, no, you're not pulling your leg. We wouldn't, we wouldn't do that to you. It's here somewhere. It was kind of early on, wasn't it? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, it was early on. Yeah, Andy's saying it was like the first box or two. There it is. Rookie, cracked ice, uh, rookie ticket variation, RPS. It's a variation and cracked ice, Kareem Hunt. All right, third to last box. Yeah, that's a pretty big hit. I think in the middle of the season, Kareem Hunt value started to dip a little bit, but I think they're starting to rise back up. All right, there it is. 135 out of 199. Have not seen a Kenny G yet. There he is. Andrew Hendricks with the Lions. On-card Kenny G autograph. A nice, sexy hit. Draft class auto. We've got a Mar another Marlon Mack autograph, draft class auto, out of 199. 199 out of 199. Are you out of your mind? Colts, Michael D. Return of the Mac. We've got Jalen Ramsey. Championship ticket, nice. 61 out of 99. Well, you still might have time, Greg. Greg's like, Greg's going big. He's just like, now I want to, I got my Kareem Hunt. Want my Dalvin Cook. There's still three autographs to go in here on average. And then five more in each of those boxes. So it could happen. MVP contenders, Julio out of 199 for a Bulldog fan. And the Falcons. More points. That'll be combined with all of those points. Winner take all of the points, of course, as you know. Sidney Jones, rookie ticket autograph. Yeah, might as well shoot the moon on that, Greg. Yeah, may as well hope for a Patrick Mahomes autograph to pop out of here, too.
Brian asks you, what if he gets a cracked ice Dalvin? Then he gets a cracked ice Dalvin. He'll be very happy. That's what happens. <laughs> We've got Quincy Wilson as your last autograph in the box. Rookie ticket autograph for the Colts. Michael D. with the Colts. That is that. We have one, two, three, four. I think some of these boxes have had four. Some of these boxes have had more autographs. All right. Ten autographs to go. Hopefully we'll get an above average box here. <laughs> Rick saying, I'd be happy with a Jeremy Sprinkle autograph at this point. Who do you? Oh, yeah, you have the Redskins. Oh, right, it was the points. That's right. Thanks, Andy. I was like, what happened to that other autograph? Yeah, points replaces an auto, folks. All right, second to last box. Good luck, boys and girls. There is another case of this on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, we'll most likely uh, tackle that one uh, tomorrow, I think. Got a lot of randomized at the end of this too. Um, so what's filling up, folks? Let me know. What I, I, I still see orders coming in, which I which is great. So we're gonna keep whatever momentum we have from those orders. Let's keep it going. So go to jazbeeshobbyland.com and let's make something happen. I know Immaculate. Um, I know Immaculate sold out that one box break of Immaculate football. So I know we're gonna do that next. And after that, I'm not sure what is selling out at the moment. Yeah, sure, Greg. Shoot us an email, jazbeeshobbyland at gmail.com, and our shipping team will get back to you on insurance. Yeah, that's a pretty nice hit. I didn't realize it went for that though. Sold for $455 at Kareem Hunt, Greg's reporting. All right, second to last box. Good luck everybody. All right, 38 out of 249 playoff ticket. Tim H, oh, has it, it hasn't been that long, has it? You can get a refund if you'd like on that totally certified basketball. Be happy to do that. Yeah, fo folks, the rule of thumb is, you know, give a break, especially if there's a lot of stuff on the website and there's a lot of new releases, give a break a few, uh, few days to, give it a few days to fill up. That's the general rule of thumb. If it doesn't, Feel free to shoot us an email at jazbeeshobbyland at gmail.com and request a refund and we can get that to you right away so you can get, in onto a, get into a different break. Championship ticket autograph, 9 out of 49. Miami Dolphins. That goes to Rick T. Tan Man with a dolphin at the very end. We've got a Christian McCaffrey autograph, rookie ticket on card auto, Christian McCaffrey. That is for Cruz and the Carolina Panthers. Nice. That is strong. Rookie of the year contender, Bengals, Joe Mixon out of 199. That goes to Darren McKenzie. And rookie roundup, Malachi Dupree out of 199, 35 out of 199, Bills edition of Malachi Dupree for Michael Gallucci and the Bills.
For the Seahawks, Nazir Jones is your rookie ticket autograph for Cruz and his Seahawks. And another Chris Wormley for the Ravens. Another one for Joe Hauer, starting his Chris Wormley PC. Uh, our main email address, Greg, jaspyshobbyland at gmail.com. I'll type it in the chat after this break if you need it again. All right. Our last box, our last five autographs on average, according to Panini, our last five autographs out of 2017 Contenders Football from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next 12 box break is in the store. Next pick your team is in the store, so check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is pick your team five. Thanks to everybody. Good luck with the last box, and then we'll have uh, a bunch of randomized to do after this. It's winner take all on the points, so good luck with that. That's actually a decent amount of points, too. Three $250, $250, two, three 250 points. And TJ looking for one last brown. He got the Inyoku, the very, very first box, but then like, then goose eggs since then. So we'll see what we can get from him. Nick T needs to see some uh, some bolts too. So good luck to the you guys. Good luck to everybody. I want everyone to hit, but unfortunately, you know, only five autographs left. Uh, mathematically, it may not happen. So, but I appreciate everybody getting in. Oh, rip and flip. Sorry, I sorry I missed you. Hello. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're gonna. I think I don't know what we're gonna do after this. I think we got more football after this, so might have some basketball fill up a little bit later on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, let's see what we got out of here. Good luck to everybody. Thank you for getting in. Happy New Year. We're starting off the year on a very good, uh, a very good foot, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks. Matthew Stafford is your playoff ticket, 24 out of 249. That'll be for the Lions. Andrew Hendricks with that. We have another Marlon Mack. On-card autograph, return of the Mac Colts. That goes to Michael D. That's exactly what we're going for, Rip. That's the vibe. All right. Let's see what we got here. TJ uh, was also saying a little bit earlier, folks, that there's 12 left in absolute basketball. So maybe we can do some of that absolute basketball, too. There's our Mad Brita. We're looking for him. <laughs> James with the Niners. And round numbers, 159 out of 199. That's another randomizer. A lot of randomizers in this. Do that at the end. These, these ones are just left-right randomizers, which we'll do as one lot. Wow, more Brad Kaya for for Cruz and the Panthers. It's your second one, your Brad Kaya PC starting. Uh, I don't think we've seen a lot of Raiders stuff yet. Not too much for my Raiders. But here is an Obi-Wan Kenobi playoff ticket autograph. 38 out of 99. Obi 
Melon Fangu for the Raiders. Karen with my Raiders. There you go. So there's one, two, three, four autographs. Maybe a fifth one. Let's see. And it's going to be points. So we'll add that to the pile of points. And there you have it, folks. That was your break. Now, hang on here. We're going to set up a bunch of randomizers here. I need left, right randomizer. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six randomizer lists. Yeah, usually there's a one per case printing plate, right? I mean, that we've been lucky enough to see one, but we, we didn't see one this time. Left, right on that randomizer for the left-right randomizers. The first one here, round numbers, Eagles, Bears. Second round number, Chiefs. This is at the one the one that was out of 199, and Texans. And there was the one that was out of 99, We had the Corey Davis, Mike Williams insert. And then everyone has a shot at the points. Winner take all on the points. All right, so let's roll the dice for all the lists. All right, good luck, everybody. Uh, everything's going to be three times on the list, one and a two, three times. Uh, left, right first, one, two, and three. Left side, so the left side will get all these cards right here. It's the same front and back. Left side will get all the cards. Uh, the first serial numbered one is Eagles, Bears, three times. One, two, and three. After three times, the Bears will get it. Bears, Joseph Johns, with the 159 out of 199 round numbers. Next is the out of 199, Chiefs Texans, three times. One, two, and three. Chiefs get the out of 199 card, the 124 out of 199. That'll be for Greg. And now there's another one. This one is 68 out of 99, so a little bit slightly lower numbered. One, two, and three. This time, this goes to the Texans. That'll go to, so it worked out, fair play. That'll go to uh, the Texans and Jameson, 68 out of 99. Then we have the first round, round one number, 26 out of 99, Corey Davis and Mike Williams. Chargers, or Titans and Chargers, three times. One, two, and three. Goes to the Bolts. So there you go, a little consolation prize for Nick T and the Chargers, 26 out of 99. Everyone gets a shot at the points. It's winner take all. You might you might get something decent with that collection of points. So let's randomize the entire list three times. One, two, and third and final time. Name on top is Michael Gallucci. Stack of points coming your way. And there you have it, folks. Let's do a quick recap. Thanks, Jaden, for the reminder. I definitely forgot. So from last auto to the first one, We'll kind of breeze through these right here so you get an idea of what was pulled. Loaded up all the inserts too. Oh, that was James Connor for the Steelers. Wayne Gallman, Giants. Nice TJ Watt. Drew Brees, veteran ticket autograph for the Saints. That was pretty amazing. Pretty solid break, I think, overall. Obviously, there are, there are a ton of autographs in here. Nice Corey Davis. A ton of autographs in here, so you know, you got to wade through some of the random offensive linemen to get to some of the bigger hits. Nice cracked ice 
for the Patriots. You know, but then you can end up with big hits like this, that cracked ice Kareem Hunt variation. There you have it, folks. There you go. That was pick your team number five from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next one.